These are some of the most insane railway projects currently under construction around the world. And while some are more massive in size than what we've ever seen, others seem to try to beat the speed of light with insane speeding abilities. And what could be more captivating than elevated tracks? Well, these new systems are pushing the boundaries of engineering and technology as we know it. So, without further ado, let's get started. First on our list is the Dankel Tel Aviv light rail. As far back as November 1892, Lebanese engineer George Frangier proposed a tramway in the Tel Aviv area between southern and northeastern Jaffa. The plan at the time was considered to be uneconomical and was shelved as the government was unwilling to commit such a huge amount to a mere railway. In World War I, a Decovia light rail was built in Jaffa and Tel Aviv, but the rail was dismantled shortly after the war. Several attempts to build the rail after that were unsuccessful, including in 1924 and the mid-1960s, when a plan to build a subway system was abandoned. A station was the only thing that was completed. But in 2000, the plan for the subway was revised to a light rail. The first red line, which spans 24 kilometers, was approved, and the MTS group consisting of Siemens, Chinese Civil Engineering Construction, Portuguese firm Soares da Costa, and Dutch transportation company HTM, awarded the contract to build the rail. But after years of delay due to financing, the government revoked the contract and turned it into a national project. Excavation began in 2009 with construction of the underground stations commencing in August 2015. The red line was opened on August 18, 2023. Preparations for the construction of the 39-kilometer green line started on February 5, 2017 while work on the 27-kilometer purple line began in 2018. Plans for a fourth yellow line were ultimately cancelled. On completion, the light rail will have a total length of about 86 kilometers connecting the city center and the suburbs, and it's expected to cost a whooping $1.7 billion. Now that sounds interesting. Talking about controversial railways, here is one in Australia. The Suburban Rail Loop East, Melbourne, Australia. Interestingly, this isn't the first time a rail project of this magnitude has been built in Australia. In 1891, the Outer Circle Railway opened, but it was a financial disaster, with the government shutting down the northern section of the line after just two years and eventually the whole line after only six years. Australian historians David Beardsell and Bruce Herbert in their 1979 book, The Outer Circle, described the project as an extravagant waste of public money. More than a century after this grand waste, plans for the suburban rail loop were announced in 2018. The proposed 90-kilometer suburban loop will be the biggest investment in Victoria's history. Although the actual cost of the project remains a source of controversy, proponents argue that, unlike the outer circle, this project will be worth the investment, as it will generate income. This massive project will create a new orbital rail line that connects the suburbs in the east of Melbourne. The 90-kilometer rail loop of the Melbourne metropolitan area will have seven new underground stations, and the project, which will be constructed in phases, will run for decades. It's also expected to create over 20,000 jobs during construction. The Australian government plans to make the project as sustainable as possible, using green construction methods. For example, the tunnel boring machine will use renewable energy and the excavated soil will be reused on site to create landscaping for the new stations. Even the concrete used for the project will be low carbon. Let's switch our attention to the home of bullet trains, Japan. The Chuo Shinkansen Maglev Project in Japan The Chuo Shinkansen is a part of the Japanese Maglev development, which began in the 1970s. The line is expected to be the final part of a project by the Japanese government, initiated by Japan Airlines and the former Japanese National Railways, JNR. In May 2011, the government gave the permission to proceed with the construction, which then began in 2014. The $95 billion line is an extension of the already existing Yamanashi test track, and it's being built in phases. Close to 90% of the 286-kilometer line to Nagoya will be built through underground tunnels. The phase which connects Osaka with Tokyo is projected to open in 2027, with commercial services expected to commence in the same year. 
while the Osaka to Nagoya line is scheduled for opening in 2037 instead of the initial 2045. The fascinating project will be a high-speed railway system that uses magnetic levitation technology, a technology that allows the train to float above the tracks, reducing friction and enabling speeds of over 300 miles per hour. Though construction is still in its initial stages, when completed, it will connect Tokyo and Osaka in just one hour and seven minutes. That's less time than it takes to get from New York City to Washington, D.C. For the next one, the French had to outdo everyone with their impressive project. The Grand Paris Express, France The Grand Paris Express is the largest transportation project currently ongoing in France. Planning began in 2013 while construction commenced in 2015. The project comprises four new high-speed metro lines and the extension of two previously existing lines. First opened in 1900, the Paris Metro, which is today the second busiest metro system in Europe, carries over 4 million passengers daily, currently has 16 lines and 308 stations, having undergone several expansions since its initial opening. The Grand Paris Express is the latest in the series of expansions. This project is aimed at connecting the rapidly expanding suburbs to the city center. With a total length of 200 kilometers, 68 new stations will be constructed, and the express is estimated to carry 3.5 million passengers per day. The project is being undertaken with an estimated investment of approximately 47.7 billion with the French government through the Société du Grand Paris responsible for 30% of the financing, while the remaining 70% by local authorities through taxes, subsidies, and loans. Like other grand projects of this size, the Express will be constructed in phases up to 2030, but many sections of the Grand Paris Express are expected to open in time for the 2024 Olympics. Next, let's head to Saudi Arabia, where the Riyadh Metro is being built. The Riyadh Metro in Saudi Arabia Riyadh Metro is considered the pride of Saudi Arabia. The Metro is part of the King Abdulaziz project for Riyadh public transport. It is estimated that Riyadh's population will grow from about 6 million to over 8.5 million in the next 10 years, and the Metro is part of the King's plans to handle the surge in population. It will cover a total distance of 176 kilometers with 85 stations and 6 lines, and it is expected to serve more than 3 million passengers daily. The metro construction began in 2014 and it is set to transform the way people get around in Riyadh when it opens to the public in 2024. Meanwhile, the first phase of the project was recently completed in 2022. The Riyadh metro will use the latest technologies like driverless trains and ticketless travel. Passengers will access the system using a smart card, which is validated by placing it near the card reader. This will be the second metro system in Saudi Arabia, after the Al Masha Air Al Mugaddasa metro line, which was opened in November 2010. It is the fourth metro system on the Arabian Peninsula, sixth in the Arab world, and 15th in the entire Middle East. When completed, it will play a key role in the Saudi Vision 2030 plan to diversify the country's economy. The last railway project on our list takes us to an unlikely location. Let's take a trip to Indonesia, the Jakarta-Bandung High-Speed Railway. Unlike the other projects on our list, the Jakarta-Bandung High-Speed Railway has recently been completed, but its complexity and scale are so extraordinary that it undoubtedly earned its place on our list. The high-speed rail project, also known as Woosh, is the first of its kind in Southeast Asia. It is also the second fastest commercial railway in the world. Plans for the $7.3 billion project initially began in 2008, but it wasn't until 2015 before a detailed plan was unveiled by the Indonesian government at the Bandung Conference. The project resulted in a little rivalry between two Asian giants, Japan and China as they both sent bids to construct the high-speed rail. China, however, won the bid and construction started in 2016. The railway connects Indonesia's first and third largest metro cities, Greater Jakarta and Greater Bandung, covering a distance of 142.8 kilometers with an operating speed of 350 kilometers per hour and serving a total population of 45 million people. It also reduces the travel time between the two cities from three hours to about 40 minutes. Trial operations on the Woosh project began on 7 September, 
with commercial operations commencing on 2nd October 2023. These insane railway projects are set to revolutionize the world and change the way we commute. The world is about to become smaller as everything becomes a whole lot faster. If you enjoyed this video, click on the like button and subscribe to the channel because it helps. We would also love to know what your thoughts are on these massive rail lines. Till then, stay safe.